Greetings Duplicant and welcome to The Breach. During the last episode we consolidated all our water into just two positions. Most of the water we consolidated in one area by using gravity to do all the hard work. We do have a small area we haven't dealt with but we're going to ignore that problem for a while. Today's plan is to dig out the starting biome, upgrade outhouses to lavatories, use gravity to tidy the base, build permanent great hall barracks, set up a kitchen area, supply power from coal generator and capture CO2. Fairly substantial list compared to our previous episodes, not helped by me losing some of the footage that I'd recorded. As you can see, using a little time lapse and video editing, I've now dug out most of the starting biome. You should also notice that I built a roof to my base. This is to help me with the debris issue, which I'll be covering later. I'm now going to plan my base around how a duplicant finishes their working day off. A duplicant finishes the work shift, uses the lavatories, washes the hands, it goes to grab some food, eats the food, and then goes to bed. So that's how I'm going to arrange all my rooms. We're going to jump into the sandbox here and look at my design for the lavatories. The number of lavatories your base has really determines how many duplicates you can have on a shift. So I'm going to create a room with four wash hand basins, four lavatories, which give the maximum size a washroom can be and give it plus two morale. I have water pipes running through the floor, but not in the ceiling because later on in the base's development, I might need to add cooling to the base and it's nice to be able to run water pipes through at least either the ceiling or the floor. I'm taking the outflow from both the lavatories and the wash and basins and putting it through a water sieve to recycle part of the water to go back into the system. But I'm also taking about 50% of the water out and storing it at the moment for later use. I believe it's worth upgrading the outhouses to lavatories even if you're still only using a hamster wheel power as your duplicates no longer have to manually empty the outhouses, which is a nasty job. A quick look on the research tree shows you what you need to be able to build the lavatories. I'm now deleting the old outhouses and I have a little system set up to take the polluted water from the outhouses and feed it into my new lavatory system. As you can see, I built a new floor here, and as I build this floor, all the debris that is on this level will fall down to the level below, thus clearing this level of all debris and reducing the reduction in decor that the debris creates. If you look carefully at this area, I have some bottles of polluted water that are off gassing polluted oxygen into my base. This is not a good idea, but that's why I built up the little section at the top to empty this polluted water into my lavatory system. I'm building a rock crusher now because I'm going to need to crush some copper ore and get some copper metal ready to produce some automation and a smart battery. As you can see I've circled the small amount of coal that you get in the starting biome. This won't last very long and it's probably something I need to look at in the next episode. Well, that's a very nice clean floor to build a room on, which I will do in a second. At the moment, I have a lot of jobs that need doing and not really enough duplicates to get everything done efficiently. So you just need to let the duplicates catch up with the workload.
I'm going to turn this area here into my kitchen. The top floor is going to initially have some coal generators on it. This will remove the need for the hamster wheel in my base. It will also supply carbon dioxide for storage of food. I will also install the grill and the micro musher, you know, just in case something goes wrong. Due to my lack of duplicates and trying to do many things at once, we're going to speed time up a little here. The plan is to have this floor as my great hall. We'll have here as an overflow if I need a second great hall. And below that I'll build the barracks. By looking at this screen you can really tell how much the debris affects the decor value and by planning your base and building from the top down you can really alleviate the problem of debris in your base. Not having a great deal of luck on the choice of duplicates I'm getting at the moment. At the moment I'm looking out for constructors, diggers, a cook and a rancher. Any of those would be good options for me right now. I may be a little eager here in deconstructing my old Great Hall until the construction on the new Great Hall has completed. Uh, you see me changing my research because I had to record most of the uh, second half of this guide. I'd forgotten what I'd researched and what I still needed to research. Oops. At last we've got the great hall built. I am really feeling the need for another duplicate now. So Marie it is. She's got suit wearing, supplying and rocketry. But can't do research so she won't be the best pilot out there. But I need somebody to do the supplying. So I'm going to take her and hope she helps with the builds in the base.
The coal generators will produce carbon dioxide, which is heavier than air and will sink. It will be collected and provide a sterile atmosphere for the storage of the food in our refrigerators. We're moving the research stations into the spare floor for ease of uh, illuminating both the stations. And here we are finally getting round to building a permanent barracks. And we're adding 10 more farm tiles to help support some more duplicates. Though we have good store of food in at the moment, especially seeing as it's going to be refrigerated now and will last longer. I've completed everything I wanted to do in this episode. The base is now powered via coal generators. We've got lavatories installed and we've got permanent structures of barracks and the Great Hall. The debris problem has been sorted out by the use of gravity. And we are now in a position to actually leave the starting biome and explore the local area. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the other side.